Hello everyone, I am Supreme Thapa from Supreme's Coaching and today I am here with a new video on the topic Torque acting on a coil in magnetic field Hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first to know when I upload anything new So let's get started Before deriving the expression for torque acting on coil in a magnetic field, let us discuss about what is actually mean by torque and the next topic that is couple. See, these two phenomena or terms torque and the couple always comes in the rotational body. So, torque is simply the force that is acted on a body or exerted by a body that produces the some certain circular motion then that force is known as torque for example if i applied some force to this marker and if this marker produces some rotational motion then that force which i have applied to this marker is known as torque now let us discuss about the uh, couple couple is simply they are the two forces or they are simply the two torques which are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction for example let me take a duster for example if this is a closed loop and two forces are acting on this of the equal amount for example in this side the force of 10 newton is acted on the upward direction and in, in another side of this duster of the same amount of the 10 newton of the force is acted on the downward side then this body will produce a rotation because the force that is acted on this upward, upward side always moves this object or a body in the upward direction and the force that is acted on the downward side always uh, moves this body in the downward direction and the phenomena repeats and the rotation of this body takes place so couple is simply defined as the two torques which are equal in magnitude but opposite in the direction so in general torque is defined as simply it is the turning effect of the force or it is the type of the force that is responsible to produce some certain rotational motion then that is known as torque and the couples are the two couples are the two forces that are responsible or for the rotation of the body which are that are the two torque which are equal in the magnitude but opposite in the direction now let us see a configuration for deriving the expression of torque as you can see it is a simple setup where we have one north pole and as well as another one south pole we know that the binary line of the force always emerges out from north pole and always goes to the south pole so the directions of our magnetic field is from n to s and between these two magnets n and the s between these two magnets we have kept a rectangular strip a b c d uh, for the perfect derivations or to make it more easy for our derivation we will consider a rectangular strip a b and c d which have the four arms a d a b b c and c d whose length is L and breadth is B. This is all about the configurations. Now let us uh, talk about the derivation. We know that whenever any conductor is placed between the magnetic field or when it is kept in the magnetic field then it experiences the force. That force is given as that force is given as F is equals to I B L sin theta where theta is the angle between the conductor and the magnetic field the L is the length of that conductor B is the magnetic field and I is the amount of the current in it flowing in it in our configuration we have uh, we have connected this rectangular coil A B C D to a battery so that the amount of the current can flow in it and I have told that when we keep in it keep the, any conductor or a coil inside the magnetic field then it experiences the force that is given as i b l sin theta now in our case this arms a d and b c will not experiences any force magnetic force 
because the angle between the current flow of the current and the directions of the magnetic fields are uh, of our side on side AD the angle between them is 180 and the angle between uh, the flow of the current and the uh, direction of the magnetic field uh, on the side BC is equal to 0 so the sign so the angle between them will be 0 and 180 and we know that sine 180 and 0 value is always exactly equals to 0 so force will be 0 this means that force will not be experienced by this side AB and the BC so the question arises then the, where the force acts that means the force will act on these sides or arms of this coil AB and CD so let us calculate the force experienced by these arms AB and CD now this is the force experienced by this no force is experienced by the side AD or AB AD or BC now force let us calculate the force experienced by this side AB and CD now force experienced by AB is equals to I B L sin theta we will take theta as theta only because we may keep the conductor uh, between the magnetic field in any way we like for suppose suppose that if I keep this <coughs> this coil I if suppose this is the rectangular coil a B C D I may keep this uh, coil uh, rectangular coil inside the magnetic field in any way I like so the angle between them may be 0 or uh, not 0 but maybe 45 or maybe 60 no, or 35 so I'll consider the theta angle between them is equal to theta so the force experienced by this side AD is given as IBL sin theta now the force experienced by this side CD will also be same as that of the force experienced by the side AD because the angle between the current and the directions of the magnetic field also may be, uh, may, may be theta so F CD is also same as that of the force experienced by the uh, side AB now let us discuss about the directions in which these force are experienced now to find out the direction we are told that we will use the left hand flaming rule so let us see in this case the current is flowing from A to B so I should keep this my middle finger on this side the direction of the magnetic field is in this side so the force the thumb will give the force direction of the force so the force will always act onto this board onto this board suppose if this is the rectangular coil and AD is is the AD is the side then the force is acted onto this onto this board or a duster onto this board or duster so the force experience on this side AB is always acted onto the board now let us see the direction of the force experienced by the CD in our case the current is flowing in this case and the direction of this magnetic field is from N to S so the force is outside of this board so the, for, the force the direction between the two force are always opposite to each and in in the starting i have said that if the two forces are equal in the magnitude but opposite in the directions then they are said to be the couple so due to these forces due to these couples the coil is rotated inside the magnetic field and the torque is produced now to find out the that torque we will use the definitions of the torque from the definition torque is defined as force into distance between them so force into distance between them I will write force is equal to I V L sin theta because the force experienced by this side A B as well as C D is same in the magnitude so force is equal to I V L sin theta and distance between them is B so uh, tau is given as I B L sin theta into B now I'll arrange the terms L into B in same place and write sin theta now we know that the area of rectangle we have considered this coil as a rectangle so uh, the re area of the rectangle is given as length into breadth so this is given as I V A sin theta 
where I is the amount of the current flowing in that particular coil, B is the magnetic field, and the A is the area of this coil, rectangular coil, and theta is the angle between this coil and the magnetic line of the force. So this is the general expressions of the torque experienced by this coil well, in a magnetic field. Now if you want to, if this coil is made up of the n number of the turns, then we can write tau is equals to I B A N sine theta, where I is the amount of the current flowing in it, B is the magnetic field, A is the area of that particular coil, and N is the number of the turns. So this is the expression of the tau experienced by uh, any coil that is placed between the magnetic field. Yeah.